What is up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog and I hope you're all having a great day. I am finally on vacation for 11 days. I couldn't be any more happy, but I'm happier right now because all my wheels came in and also my swift springs came in. We'll go into more detail about that. To those who already know who or who guessed it, congratulations. And to those that you don't know, probably gonna need a new daily because I'm gonna make the Integra static as fuck. But I know you're all stoked on what spring rates I got and probably my wheel dimension. So let's get to the unboxing. So again guys, I got some Swift Springs from the motherland, smells just like Japan. For the rears, well at first off these are on 5 inches opposed to the standard 7 inches that come on most coilovers, but these are for the rear. I am running 26k and then I'll, again these are 5 inches opposed to 7 inches come stock and these are for the front and these are 30k spring rates. So I did my research and these springs should be okay in terms of ride quality. I know the ride's going to be super stiff, which I like. Maybe a little bit too excessive, but what I'm trying to achieve is bag fitment rolling static. I always wanted to have a super static build since day one and since... I mean I should have got these for the Prelude a long time ago, but I didn't. So I'm bagged, but I'm super stoked to put these on. I can't wait to install these, probably tomorrow. Alright guys, now let's open up the wheels. Alright guys, so here they are, I went with Whistler wheels. I know what you guys are going to think. What the hell Hank? You got rep wheels. Yes I did. I came to the conclusion that if I keep putting excessive amounts of money into the Integra I will not be able to obtain a GTR quickly. And I really wanted those equip, work equip O3s but I'm content with these. But again, you know your boy had to stick with the white that's kind of my thing. Polished lip. I know a bunch of you are going to ask for the specs. So listen closely. They're 16 by 9 plus 15. So according to, I think it was either FedEx or UPS, the tires should be here either tomorrow or Saturday. But I know my lug nuts will be here tomorrow for sure. But right now, I'm super stoked. I mean, shit. I got wheels everywhere. Remember guys, so for sale, we'll ship at buyer's expense. But right now, I'm gonna put the Integra into the main garage and we'll just test it. We'll test fit these, see you there. I don't know how you say, I love summer. It's hot as hell, you guys are crazy. And then again, I'm a winter baby. But I'm gonna grab the jack, jack up the Integra in the other garage, test, see how they fit and hopefully all goes well. Oh yeah, I also checked my tires after I shredded up and down the mountain. They're pristine, but I got all of this dirt accumulated in one mountain run. Oh well, that's the price you pay for having white wheels. All right guys, so before I put the whistle wheels on the car, this is for the viewers that are new to the car scene, just new to cars in general, I'm here to help. I'm here to <laughs> I am here to help you answer all your questions because when I first started out in the car scene there's only a handful of people that were willing to reach out to me and say hey man if you need any questions have any questions reach out to me I'll do the best I can and you guys know who you are in the Prelude community and who I met through cars especially you Herman but yeah so with usually with aftermarket wheels 
stock lug nuts won't fit because I believe they're called acorn seated. And with most aftermarket wheels, they are ball seated. So you're gonna need aftermarket lugs. These are the um, first lugs they bought for the Prelude back in, I think, 2013. They were on when I was in that Tiffany Blue Stage. Everybody goes to that Tiffany Blue Stage. These are made by um, Function and Form. I personally say I, I wouldn't buy these again just because the paint on them chipped off really easy. But they're super lightweight and they're super durable and they get the job done. All right guys, got the wheel on. I'm just gonna do this one side, but damn, they look so good. I mean, clearance is great. It's just like a charm. What worries me is right here, there's like a finger and a quarter of clearance because of this bar here, but I hope these clear because I don't want to have to return these. But of course when it's on the ground, it should sit differently, especially with all the camber I'm running. All right now I'm running the negative five. Ooh, we got some rub up here. Nice. But guys, everything seems to fit well. Now I'm gonna do the um, jacking trick to see where it'll sit. All right guys, so what you wanna do, you can use like a block of wood or a phone book, whatever is convenient for you. So you don't scratch the wheel. I usually just get like a towel, terry cloth. I don't care about. Just wrap it nicely here. Then what you want to do, remember you break off. Try to put it center on the jack and then slowly raise the car up or hit the jack until it should be good there. And then you want to keep jacking the car or the wheel up until the chassis starts to move. I mean, for coilovers, when the car starts to start lifting up, that indicates that's where your ride height will be. So this is my ride height right now. And the tire I'm running, of course, stands fuckboy here. I'm, running, I'm gonna run a 195.40 on these 16 by nines. And then with the swift springs, I can go a lot lower. Of course, I'll probably have to relocate the bumper tab. I'll show you how to do that. And then probably gonna have to roll and pull the rear quarter panels, but I'm gonna see what, if I can get away with just shaving it piece by piece. But again, guys, I'm super excited, super stoked to get the springs mounted, the wheels and tires mounted, adjust everything to get the nice static fitment. And remember guys, anything is possible with hard work and determination. You gotta stay committed, you have to persevere through all the bullshit, can't let no negativity get in your way. I'm just grateful that I have a job that supports you know, my living, my passion for music and cars, car parts, super, super grateful for that. And also, you know, find something you're good at and use that to your advantage. Like for instance, I'm good at detailing, I like to think I'm good at detailing and cleaning, so I use that to my advantage. Now I detail between one to two cars a week on my free time and it's a great source of income. But guys, this is so sick. Got Derek's parts waiting, that'll be another vlog. Spring vlog, wheel, static fitment vlog. Got a lot of stuff ready for my vacation, so I'm super stoked, guys. All right, guys, good news. Brian is gonna help me with my Swift Spring install tomorrow. So right now I'm just gonna prep. So I'm just gonna take all the coils out and we'll leave it at that. Let's get started. So before I take the coils out, let's check out the stiffness in the Integra real quick. Remember this. Absolutely rubbish. So as you can see, not stiff enough, too bouncy, bottom out everywhere I go. It's gonna be crazy when we do a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock functioning form springs versus the 30K Swift Springs. But right now, guys, I'm gonna take everything out. So, see you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? Got the Integra once again on jack stands. Got all the coils out. 
As a comparison, here is the Swift Spring compared to the OEM Function Form Springs. Hopefully all goes well tomorrow. I noticed, um, I've never taken these apart before, so hopefully this top plate can go down a little bit more because on the Function Form coils, the thread ends here in my locking collars would have to sit pretty high up. So hopefully that gives me enough clearance to make everything work. Fingers crossed guys, if anything, I might just have to buy extended top hats and do some more research. But guys, I know the video is short, but I'm gonna end it here. Today was just kind of a um, unboxing. I'm super stoked for this. Like I said, hopefully all goes well tomorrow. But thanks again guys for love and support. I truly appreciate everything you guys do for me. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe for more content. And as always, aim high, drive low. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.